The first Saturday of every month, Midwest Military Radio Collectors Group staged an AM net on 40 meters. I wanted to check into this net with my Collins ARC-38 auto-tune transceiver. The Collins ARC-38 was one of the first generations of automatic or self-tuning radios. First thing we'll do is turn on the 28 volt DC power supply. This provides power to the filaments and pulls into relays to turn on the B plus and high voltage power supplies. After the radio warms up, then we'll go ahead and activate the 120 volt 400 cycle AC supply that powers all the servos. We'll switch the radio into manual channel select and that will enter the channel from the front and you'll see that the slug racks will start to tune. After they channelize and tune, we'll go ahead and key the transmitter. When we key the transmitter, the PA servo will tune itself. After the servo's tuned, then the antenna tuner will cut in, and it will start tuning the antenna for a minimum SWR from the radio to the antenna. Now we'll go ahead and zero beat the radio. Runner 7296. Select CW mode. Go over and key the microphone. We'll see how far we are off frequency. We can manually move the PTO down just a little bit and zero beat it so it's dead on carrier. Now the radio is ready test, to use. Test, test, KH3, KH, test. There was a lot of interference uh, on the band due to a, uh, another contest going on on 7290, just 6KC down. W9, R-A-N, K-3, K-H. Uh, we are running an A-R-C, a Collins A-R-C-3-8. A-R-C-3-8. That's 100 watts. Uh, it's the first generation auto-tune aircraft HF transceiver. W9RAN and the Midwestern Radio Group, KA3AK. I was able to participate in not hear what was able to hear me. I was able to hear most of them, but due to the interference, I ended up using the receiver on the RF350K. And, uh... He's coming in great here. He's also listening on an RT, uh, a, a 350K, a Harris 350K. It's got a little bit better receiver. That's his lineup. Uh, go ahead, Bob. Although the ERC-38 has a Collins mechanical filter in its IF, it's 12 kc wide, so it just was a little too wide for using in a crowded band. The Harris RF350, though, has a 6KC filter, so for that reason, it seemed to work much better in these crowded conditions. Some of the stations were a little bit weaker at the net, but Dale, KW1I, had a signal that was booming in down here in Maryland. So but after the night, I took the opportunity to talk to Dale directly. Down here, but, uh, you're doing great, Ray, and uh, you might hear you can try the 60 meters today at uh, noon, over. Uh, KW1IK3 KH. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to make the uh, noon net, but I uh, wanted to try to get in here for the morning. All right, talk to you later. KW1IK3 KH. Okay, happy new year, Ray. KW1I.